Hello and welcome to Chindu.org. In this video, we will learn another advanced pivot table trick. This is how to use value and percentage in the same pivot. You might be thinking, what does this even mean? Let's take a look at an actual pivot table. Um, this is sales data that we have been using throughout the series and I will go ahead and insert a pivot table. Now let's take a look at monthly sales trend. So we will add month and uh, net sales. We will remove the quarter and uh, I'll just expand these things. So we are looking at sales by month. Now this is good. We are looking $56,000 sales and overall 756,000. Let's say I want to see what is this as a percentage of overall sales. One way is you can right click on the number, show value as percentage of column total. You could also use grand total, but uh, it's best to use column total because there might be other columns and you don't want to divide like that. And you can see that this is 7.52%. Now, what if I also want to see both value and percentage just so that it's easy for me to kind of do the comparison? Well, we've already added net sales, what now? Don't think like that because you can add same field any number of times to this area, the values area of the report. All you have to do is drag and drop it again. And the second time you add it, it will again go back to the default of the number, which is sum of the number and it will show those numbers. So we now have both number and value as a, as a percentage. And this is very good because then uh, you can take one of these and uh, and uh, you know apply maybe conditional formatting or something like that. For example, you could right click on this, uh, not right click, just select the number, go to home, conditional formatting and apply like a data bar on, on that. It will only come up there but once you do this you can just uh, um, do it for, for, for that column and then this will have a comparison with the percentages there and the absolute number also available. A powerful variation of this technique is you can, uh, I'll just um, insert another pivot table. So I'll show you another variation of this technique, which is highly relevant in monthly reporting scenarios. So we will do the same as before and, um, and then just put net sales. Now, this is the net sales. We will add net sales again. This time I want to see the differences like month on month increase in sales. So first one is actual value and the second one we will right click show value as and then we will say percentage difference from um, and then rather than using a base base uh, that is we will be looking at monthly comparisons and then base item as Jan. What this would mean is every month will be compared against Jan. We will simply say previous and then you will see uh, as a monthly difference. Now the key thing to remember with this approach is it wouldn't really work when you have multiple levels like this because of the way I believe the calculations are done. But maybe if I change the report layout to a tabular format um, and uh, any subtotals are gone, uh, it still doesn't work I think. Um, it's not doing the rollovers properly, but this is uh, clearly showing me how much this month has gone up compared to that month. Um, so from 58,000 to 59,000 is 1.75 increase and 62 to 56 is 10% drop. So this, this is another very powerful way of uh, visualizing the monthly changes. Unfortunately, with month and year grouping, it doesn't really work in the same elegant fashion because there are two Januaries in the data. But uh, there you go. I hope you found uh, this approach of having both um, value and percentage in the same pivot table a useful option and give it a try with uh, your next pivot table reports. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, again, a quick reminder, you can download sample data and uh, completed pivot tables from the description of this video. Thanks. Bye-bye.